In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Google Search Console to your custom domain on the Wizard platform to help you dominate SEO. Google Search Console is an SEO tool that gives you the data directly from Google, showing you how many impressions your website is getting on Google searches every day, along with the clicks, CTR, and the average position of your pages and posts. With Google Search Console, you can see the actual queries that people are searching up on Google that your website is popping up for both as impressions and ultimately clicks. You can see a list of all your pages that are driving in the most clicks and impressions from Google Search. And you can even sort by countries and devices. One useful feature of Google Search Console is you can submit a sitemap so Google can index and crawl the latest version of your website faster. Google Search Console also warns you of some errors on your website when it comes to the page experience or the core web vitals or mobile usability, all important factors when it comes to ranking on SEO. Luckily, as a wizard customer, these are things which we have taken care of for you right out of the box. Now, step number one is visiting search.google.com, then clicking start now. You'll have to log in using an existing Google account and then you will see this screen. Simply type in the domain that you want to connect and click continue. So here they give instructions for various different domain providers. We are going to be connecting a Namecheap domain, but the general process is going to be largely the same no matter who you use. The key is we need to copy this TXT record right here. Then in another tab, you need to log into your domain provider company. Here we are on Namecheap and we've accessed our domain here. The first step is to click Advanced DNS or manage DNS for GoDaddy. So as you can see here, we already have the A record from connecting it to our wizard website. And what you're gonna wanna do is add the TXT record, which we've already done here, but let me show you how to do it for a new account. Add new record, scroll down to TXT. For the host, put the at sign. For value, simply paste what you got from the last page. The value should look like Google site verification and then a string of random numbers and letters. After you've done that, just click the save changes. And then on Namecheap specifically, you're gonna wanna set the mail settings to no email service. By default, it is set to email forwarding, which is going to have another TXT record that we don't want to interfere with our Google Search Console verification. So set that to no email service. After that, you can simply click verify and it will verify your domain with Google Search Console. Sometimes DNS changes take a few hours, so you might need to click verify later and then try again. So that wraps up how to connect Google Search Console to your custom domain. Make sure to look at your Google Search Console analytics every now and then to see where your searches are coming from so that you can get a better idea of what content to write more about to increase your SEO traffic and rankings. That's it for this video. Make sure you join our Facebook group community for more SEO tips and follow us on Twitter for the latest product updates. Then check out the rest of the videos in this video series.